what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel um this video i'm going to be building the eurofighter typhoon rc jet which i'm going to convert into a edf um that's the experiment should be a, a prop but i'm going to try a 64 millimeter edf instead as you can see i would say sometimes by already cutting out the parts and everything this is the the whole body of the aircraft at the fuselage and everything all the parts here there these are all the parts i'm gonna be using so it's gonna be cardboard and foam board and i'm gonna be using this wooden dowel to straighten the wing and uh i'm going with the edf instead so just in case this this is gonna be an experiment, I'm exper experimenting with a 64 millimeter EDF. If that doesn't work, well, I haven't cut out the, the section for the, the prop. So I can always do that if the EDF fails. So I uh, took this out of my one of my previous builds. I didn't show that video because that was but that was a failed project. So I'm gonna be installing this EDF right here hopefully the center of gravity will be right on and um, we'll see how this experiment work out so let's get into the build this is gonna be a time lapse guys let's get into it so the Eurofighter is done pretty much um, I kind of you know did a little touch up with some acrylic paint um, to just get away from the plain white I use um, acrylic paint white black mixed together and um, as you can see for the canopy I use the different color um, yellow oxide but everything is done guys everything is well put together just have to do the main flight and take it out to the field um i believe this is gonna be a success 
uh, my center of gravity is right on. I went ahead and used a Velcro strap for my battery and also for my ESC, I used a zip tie. Um, at the bottom, I'll show you. All right, so in a battery bay, I'm using a 2200 uh, 4S battery, a 40 amp ESC, a 64 uh, millimeter EDF, and that should be um, good enough. You can see I use a wooden dowel to give the wing some extra strength. And also here and the canards uh, also use wooden dowel to give this some strength. I went ahead and um, kind of did something um, different as you can see guys. I use a popsicle stick just to give this area a little more strength. And I'm using just two servos um it's gonna be elevon controlled also i wanted to show you uh vertical vertical stabilizer there was an extra cutout here for um you could use that's optional i didn't go with that i said i will i would try and use um i would just go with elevon so now using two servos let's see how well that performs you can see my missiles on the side i painted red but i believe this is going to be a success and i'm going to take it out to the field and um i'm, I'm, I'm confident that this is going to fly pretty good i'll go ahead and um check the weight 707 grams that's 707 grams they are all up weight with the battery everything installed ready to go um, that's my all up weight and I believe this is going to be a successful guys, a successful um, maiden. All right, so stay tuned for the maiden flight and I'll see you soon.
right guys so the euro fighter was a success but i think by me painting this as you can see the the cardboard start to um warp a little bit start to bow but um successful flight overall successful flight i'm very pleased um i think i need a probably have my battery back a little bit or a little a little more forward looks like it was a little tail heavy so um it's better to be nose heavy than tail heavy but it flew pretty good all right so i'll catch you in the next video guys take care god bless